All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So B jump scans have finally surfaced on the internet. And with that, we now know the next two sparking units that are going to be coming into the game. And they are none other than full power Bojack and a transforming Super Saiyan 2 team Gohan, obviously the one from the Bojack movie. But we also have a quick translation from Gorish as well. And it says for legends, Full Power Bojack who gets stronger when allies are defeated, Gohan who transforms into Super Saiyan 2, pre-transformation he is defensive and post-transformation he is powerful offensively and lock switching. So this is honestly, I, I don't even know like what to say when it comes down to Gohan in particular. As far as Bojack goes, he sounds kind of, eh. I guess he's just a unit that gets stronger when his allies are defeated. That's honestly nothing special. But again, I'm hoping that there's probably some underlying abilities that we may not know about concerning that Bojack, because to be fair, when we did receive just regular, I guess, base Bojack in the game, like all those months ago, a lot of people were saying, why didn't we just get full power Bojack instead? Now we're getting him and he seems meh, in my opinion, or at least just based off of this, you know, quick translation. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be greater details when, you know, they actually start tweeting out about the unit. We get to see some gameplay of the unit. But as of right now, he just sounds like a regular every, or I won't say everyday unit, but just like a generic unit that gets a boost when his allies are defeated. It's, it's nothing special added into the game at all. I'm really hoping that they make him unique. Maybe we'll get some new extreme units that will probably boost his effects because we have Obviously, Bojack in the game, and we have Zonya. Maybe we can get Bujin, Beto, or whoever, honestly. Um, I believe the other one is uh, Kugo, but we can, we can honestly get, like, something working with, like, I don't know, like, we can call it, like, a Bojack team or something and just make that work. But all in all, as of right now, he sounds kind of just, eh, nothing really too fancy. Gohan, on the other hand, this one is actually strange because it says that he's, he's a defensive type, which is, first of all, weird because in the Bojack movie, he was anything but defensive, but I digress. He's a defensive type, but once he transforms, does he actually switch to being like, what well, I'm assuming maybe a melee type or key blast type, one of those two, but it's, it's weird how he starts off defensive and then when he transforms, his stats just completely flip. So, which is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Cause honestly speaking, I don't think that there's any unit in the game while they transform that have, I guess an entire stat change like that. Like when they transform, you know, their stats will boost, but they don't have a flip, like an entire paradigm shift, if you will. Cause we're going straight from defense to offense. I, I think that's really freaking cool. And from the look of the scan, it seems like Gohan is probably going to start off on Super Saiyan and then transform into Super Saiyan 2. Or even if it's base form and then he transforms into Super Saiyan 2, that's also fine. No issues at all, because once again, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan is my favorite character of all time, so I'm going to summon like crazy for him, but I digress. Um, but it's, it's going to be interesting to see how that perk works and also to see where his um, offensive and defensive stats stand in comparison to the rest of the units that are currently in the game because even though it's a kind of a unique perk it's not really going to matter much if his defensive capabilities can't like handle some of the strongest units in the game and his offensive capabilities can't try to you know i guess counter some of the strongest units in the game like if it's if it's just a new ability and he can't do anything then what's the point but I don't know. And one other thing that I'm hoping that they add, personally speaking, is if you guys remember the Bojack movie, when Gohan turns Super Saiyan 2, uh, Bojack sends out Bujin and Beto to try to stop Gohan. And they try to stop him with that little, like, invisible, like, um, you know, line, like, tethering thing or whatever it was, right? And he walks straight through. And then afterwards, he just, like, quickly powered up and destroyed both of them, right? I'm hoping that they give that to Gohan as like a green card where, for example, Gohan could have, I don't know, either a stat ailment or whatever the case may be. But when you use that green card, he does that little animation, you know, he'll walk a little bit, power up, and then it cancels all of his attribute downgrades. 
or stat ailments. So that means if he was poisoned or, you know, key blast down, strike down, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, all of it is nullified. And then he gets like some sort of buff because obviously he powered up. I think that would be pretty cool. It would honestly make him a fantastic unit now that I think about it. Just being able to like utilize the green card to cancel out attribute downgrades on that unit and get a power boost. That would be pretty freaking dope. But I mean, I, I don't know if they'll add that, but that's just wishful thinking. If that's how it ends up being, I might actually be a prophet. <laughs> but those are all of my thoughts, honestly, on Bojack and the new Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that we're going to be getting. Personally speaking, again, I'm happy that we're getting a transforming Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan because for the sparking units, that'll make him the third Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan that we got. And the first one, I guess, was like our introduction to Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan being in the game, which was the purple unit. Then we had the first legendary finish unit being Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan, and now we're getting a transforming one. So personally speaking, I'm happy. But I do want to know, are you guys hyped for full power Bojack and the new transforming Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan? Let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.